Hey guys, it's Juan Zuniga and this is Jensik and today we're going to talk about the 10 iPhone settings you need to change right now. All right, so the first one is auto brightness. Auto brightness does not work for me. It either gets too dark or too bright whenever I do not want it. So that's the first thing you need to do. So to be able to change auto brightness, go to settings, general, accessibility, display accommodations, and then turn off auto brightness. Although having auto brightness is a good idea, sometimes it doesn't work and it gets me really mad. So I'd rather do it manually myself so I can adjust it the right way that I want it. The second thing is speed selection. So if you guys have never seen this before, this is a great thing to have. You can actually have the phone read to you everything that you highlight anywhere from a text message or something that you find online. So this is a pretty cool setting to have. And you can turn this setting on by going to settings general accessibility and then speech inside of speech you'll find something that says speed selection turn that on and there you go that's all you need to do and you can adjust the speed of the speech as well if it's too slow or too fast for you and then anything that you highlight you can press you can highlight it tap on speed and it'll automatically start reading everything that you were highlighting. So that's a pretty cool feature to have, especially if there's a long article and you just want to listen to it while you're doing something else. The next setting is Keychain. Keychain is one of my favorite features on the iPhone. You guys have known that I love using LastPass and I've used LastPass for a very long time now. However, having Keychain on your phone and having all your Mac products synced together it makes it so much easier. To turn on Keychain, you go into your iCloud account, go scroll down to Keychain, and there you just turn it on. And then that's it. Every time you want a password that is saved on your Keychain, you can, you can retrieve it from your phone, you can retrieve it from your MacBook, your iPad, whatever device that you have it in, and you have that account synced to it, you'll be able to find your password. It makes it so much better, especially when you have thousands of different passwords for thousands of different accounts. LastPass is a great, great thing to have, but this one's already integrated, and if you're in the Apple ecosystem, it makes it so much easier. The next one is Wi-Fi calling. So Wi-Fi calling is great, especially if you have a strong internet at home or in the office. Wi-Fi calls are nice and crystal clear. Now, Wi-Fi calling is not available for everyone. It all depends on your carrier. But to be able to turn it on, you go to Settings, Cellular, right there where it says Wi-Fi calling, you just tap there and then turn it on. Wi-Fi calling is one of the best things that I've had for a very long time. It makes all your calls crystal clear. You have oh, you always have a signal if you have a Wi-Fi, so you're never going to miss a call. I used to live in an apartment where the reception was horrible, and sometimes I wouldn't get calls. And with Wi-Fi calling, it made it so much better and so much easier. The next setting you need to change is the background app refresh. And this one, you can go to settings general background app refresh and then change it to wi-fi only this way it doesn't drain your battery whenever you're not on wi-fi whenever you're on wi-fi you're pretty much close to an outlet where you can just charge your phone Maybe you're in, on, in the office or at home where you can always charge your phone if you're out and about you don't want the apps to automatically be refreshing in the background because it's going to be draining your battery and it makes it a little bit harder to charge your phone if you have a portable battery with you so turn this one to just wi-fi only only that way whenever you're inside somewhere where there's Wi-Fi and you're connected you can always connect your phone and charge it if it's draining too much battery the next two settings are about privacy and these can be the location based Apple ads and the significant location some people like having the significant locations off I'm not too worried about them but if you are I'll show you how to do it go into settings privacy location services scroll all the way down and you'll find system services and then from there, you can turn off location-based Apple ads. And then you can go to significant locations and turn that one off. And in the significant locations, you can see all the history of everywhere you've been. So that's what some people are worried about and they don't like having that there. Even though Apple, it says right there that they're encrypted and Apple cannot read them. People still think that people can see that and Apple can see that. And they just want to turn that off. So you can turn it off right there. The next one is very important and that's emergency SOS. If something ever happens to you, if you get in a car accident or you faint or you something happens to you when you're out and about and you're by yourself, this one is a very important one to have on your phone. And emergency SOS can be activated by going to settings and then scrolling down to emergency SOS. And emergency SOS, you can put the information of contacts, people that they, people can call if they ever find you, 
um, you can put your weight, your type, your type, the type of blood, your age, and if you're an organ donor. And whenever you go into emergency SOS, you scroll down to set up emergency contacts and health. Right there, you'll see your blood type, your weight, your height, and then you can edit to include your emergency contact. You click right there and you can start adding people to that emergency contact. The next setting you need to change is to disable a lot of the things that are enabled when your phone is unlocked. Most of the time, Siri is enabled. When the phone's unlocked, you can reply to messages. Those things are things that maybe you don't want people to have access to whenever your phone is locked. So you can disable those things. That way, nobody can access those things when your phone is locked. And to be able to do that, you go to settings, face ID and passcode, and then right there, you scroll all the way down and you'll see the things that are allowed when your phone is locked. And you can start disable all of them one by one, and you can pick and choose whatever it is you could want to disable and enable. And the next one is night shift. There are studies out there that says that depends on the color of the phone screen, it can mess with your sleep. So you can turn on night shift, where the color of the screen is gonna change before going to bed. And to be able to do that, you go into settings, displays, and then you go into night shift. And night shift, you can either schedule it at whatever times you want, or you can do it from sunrise to sunset. It's gonna turn on night shift on or off. And at the bottom, you can mess with the color temperature. You can make it less warm or more warm. And from there, every time there's a sunrise or sunset, it's gonna turn it on or off. And that way it doesn't affect with your sleep if you're using your phone before going to bed. All right guys, so these are the settings that I recommend you should change on your phone right now. These settings can either protect your privacy, save your life, or just make your life a little bit easier. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.